Question is, shall the bill pass? Last week was full of surprises in the Ohio House of Representatives as Republicans kicked off their lame duck session with an aggressive legislative agenda. On Wednesday, they passed a version of the hotly contested Stand Your Ground bill. On Thursday, with a vote of 60 to 35, they passed through a restrictive abortion bill with fiery, sometimes blatantly false testimony on both sides. Abortion is the best business model in all of humanity. And now, of course, we know that the remaining parts of aborted babies are sold for profit. What probably bothered me the most is when I sit here and we talk about abortion as big business. Well, I didn't hear that yesterday when we were talking about guns. But why these bills and why now? The world doesn't end on December 4th or December 19th or whatever our last day is. For some of this legislation, it does. All bills introduced in 2017 and 2018 must be passed before the new year. If not, those bills have to start back at square one next year, which means Republicans are on a serious time crunch. As amended, the House will prepare and proceed to vote. Once these lame duck laws make it through the House and the Senate, they end up on Governor Kasich's desk. Once there, he has 10 days to act with four options. One, he can sign it into law. Two, he can veto it. Three, he can strike some lines of the bill, then sign it into law. Or four, he can do nothing. If he chooses this option, the bill will automatically become law without his input after that 10-day period. If he does choose to veto, as he has with almost identical bills in the past, that's not the end-all be-all. The Republican supermajority still has a way around him. For one, they can override a veto with three-fifths majority in the House. There are 99 members in the House, 66 of whom are Republicans, so the math is in their favor. And what about DeWine? Why not just wait? Well, a law states he can't meddle in legislation passed during the previous administration. Look, I, I, I am pro-life, but again, um, I don't think it is appropriate uh, for me to be speculating on bills um, until I'm governor. No matter what happens, it will be a well-choreographed political dance on both sides. Kasich has the option to drag his heels, which would force the legislature to convene over the holidays. For Spectrum News, I'm Molly Martinez.